What's up guys? Welcome back to The Holler. My name is Kevin. Today we're doing some butcher paper baby backs. So sit right there and we'll show you how it's done. We have a three and a quarter pound rack of loin back ribs here. Today's gonna be a super simple recipe. All we're gonna do is, as our binder, we're gonna use some French's honey mustard, and then we're gonna put Weber Dry Smoking Rub on it. So the first thing we gotta do is get it ready. So we wanna remove this membrane back here. It's fairly easy to do. Just get up under the, the membrane, give it a good pull. It's a lot easier with a, a paper towel. You have that. Um, most of it came off. Let's see if we can get up under some more. Even these gloves that I'm wearing help help grip it a little bit. All right. All right, that's good enough. All right, let's get our binder on. All we're using is this French honey mustard. Now we don't want to put much, because we're not trying to flavor it. This is just for a binder. That's all this is. Just so that our rub will stick really good to it. I don't want to put much on at all. That should be good. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and get our rub on. So like I said, we're using uh, Weber's Dry Smoking Rub. It's uh, some pretty good stuff, you should check it out. Um, just gonna put it on all over the rib. Pretty liberal. This thing's got um, turbinado sugar in it, so it starts pretty sweet, and it's got a mixture of paprika and um, other spices. Now what you want to do is after you get the rub on, you're going to want to let it sit for a little while um, just so that these spices and sugars start melting into the meat. Get set in really good. All right, let's get it finished seasoning here. All right. While this is sitting, we're gonna go ahead and go get the smoker ready. I'm gonna show you how hard it is to actually start the silver back. So all you do, you come down here, you hit the power button, it starts going. We're gonna put it down to the temperature we want. Automatically defaults at 350. We're gonna take this one down to 225. I already have the pellets in here from Pacific Pellets. This is a mixture of oak, cherry, and pecan. It's gonna go excellent on these ribs. We just close the lid. We let it do its thing. Once it hits 225, we'll put the ribs on. All right, it's been about an hour now. So we're gonna go ahead and open these up. I have a spray bottle filled with some apple juice and a little bit of brown sugar mixed in. And we're just gonna go ahead and give it a, a spray down. We just wanna keep them kinda moist. Then we'll come back about 30 to 45 minutes later and do it again. All right, it's been about another hour. So let's go ahead and take a look. Looks like we're getting some pretty good color on it. We're gonna go ahead and uh, spray it down again. We're gonna let this go for about another hour and then we're gonna pull it off and wrap it up. All right guys, it's been about three hours now. I just pulled the ribs off the smoker and it's time to get them wrapped up now. 
So what we got here is some pink butcher paper. Now, you might be asking where you can find this, um, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I have no idea where you're gonna find it in the store. Where I found mine was Amazon. It's this Mighty Dreams pink butcher paper, 18 inches by 150 foot. It was $26.99. All right, so what we're gonna do, wrap them up, we're going to spray a little bit more apple juice on them. Look at this good ma mahogany color. This is what we're looking for. After we pulled them, and I can smell the smoke pretty good on them. They smell, they smell pretty good. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter down. A little bit more rub. And some some brown sugar. No, you're not. I've already been being the Weber rub doesn't have that much sugar in it, so I'm gonna add add a little bit more here. All right, let me go ahead and flip these over. And then we're gonna do the same thing to this side. Go ahead and add some more butter. A little bit more rub. Some more sugar. All right, and then we're just gonna wrap these up. We give a fold like this. And over. And this is meat side down, and that's exactly how we're going to put it on the grill. Meat side down, we're going to go for about an hour and a half to two hours. See you then. All right, it's been about an hour and a half. We're going to go ahead and pull these out, take a look at them, and we're going to test them for uh, tenderness. Close back up. What we want to see here is that they're pulling away. Oh yeah, they're pulling away, um, not falling apart, but they did pull away. So we're gonna let them go back on here for about maybe 20 more minutes, and then. We'll sauce them up. All right, it's been about 20 minutes now. Went ahead and taken it out of the butcher paper, and I put a piece of foil down before we sauce, just to try to help with clean up of the grill a little bit better. So now, I'm using uh, Sweet Baby Ray's. This is what my family really likes, and they don't like it when I sway too much. So for today, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. Go ahead and mop it on. And then what we're gonna do, after it's all mopped on, we're gonna let this sit for, on the grill for maybe another 30 minutes to 45 minutes just to let the sauce really sit in. And then these bad boys are gonna be done. All right, let me get them flipped here. Okay, get this side. All right, guys, these are smelling good. Wish you could smell them. All right, we're gonna let them go for about. 30 more minutes. All right, the sauce has been sitting on for about 30 minutes now. We're gonna go ahead and get these things off. We're gonna call them good. Uh, you can see how it's bending. It's gonna tear apart there, so. 
đội hình kinh tế gió Take them on inside. We're gonna let them rest up for about 10 minutes, and then uh, we're gonna cut them up, show you what they're like. All right, guys, they've been resting for 10 minutes now, and here's the finished product. So let's go over what we did. So we started off by putting our rub on, took them out to the grill. They smoked at 225 for about three hours. Then they were in, we wrapped them in uh, pink butcher paper. They went for about hour and a half, almost two hours there. And then we finished them off, set the sauce uh, for about 30 minutes. So let's go ahead and cut into them, see what we got. They're definitely tender. See on that one the bones popping out. Let's take this one right here and take a look at it. Definitely juicy. Definitely super tender. Nice smoke ring. Let me go ahead and try it. Got a really good smoke flavor. Tastes really good. So guys, that's it for our butcher paper wrap baby backs. If you like what we're doing, go ahead and subscribe. And always, holler back.